Today's adventure brings me to Deland, Florida. This episode starting a little later in the day. Got caught up doing some personal things throughout the course of the morning and the afternoon. But I have been brought out to, is this the courthouse? It is, one of them. This is the old one. There's a special guest with me. Give him a hint, uh, who you are. I'm, I'm told that I look like you, only chubby. It is almost 6 p.m. What's the day, what's the day today? What's the uh, what, March as, 11th. As a recording of this, it is March 11th. They say you look like me, only chubby? That's what I get in the comments a lot. Oh, is that your brother? Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As you can tell, I got a haircut today. It's one of the things that I was doing throughout the course of the day. Off camera, this car is doing a U-turn. This is the Athens, this is the Athens Theater. Not the Aztec Theater. That's from The Simpsons. Which, on the way in, you go, hey, look, that's the Aztec Theater. And then you said, no, that's a Simpsons reference. Oh, the light just turned on. I caught it. The hilarious hit musical, I Love You, You're Perfect, Now Change, is taking place right there. The one who backed in is cheering. I'm inviting you to join me and Splorin Ryan, YouTube's own Splorin Ryan. Why are we here in Deland? Uh, because I told you we were going somewhere else. You no. have, uh, for years, have been wanting me been. to cut. Now, I've been out here a couple times. I was out here about a year ago, but I just passed through mm -hmm. for a brief moment. I didn't really document in great detail, but I'm here to document with you, Splore and Ryan, who is wearing a Cobra Kai shirt. Appropriate. Not an appropriate t-shirt for Deland. But then again, what do I have on? I am also not wearing an appropriate shirt. This is Orlando, Beefy King. Beefy King. I need to get some coffee. It's a little late for coffee. What, also, what event is going on down here tonight? Well, there is uh, there is a Artisian Alley, they call it the Artisian Alley, uh, Friday Night Soiree. That's not what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but that's what it is. All right, so we're gonna go see some vendors, maybe get some piping hot caffeinated beverages. How about that one? And I am so happy that we witnessed the Aztec Theater light turn on. I feel like it was all meant to be. And I'm inviting you to join me as we do just a little spoon. No, 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 no. It, join me, shall you. Just a little shall you. Sporn! We do just a little sporn. I should also say, I have no idea what this episode is going to be about. But down at the end of the block down there is Tony's New York style pizza, but also a place called the Blind Pig. And next to the Blind Pig is the old Volusia County Jail. Or is it still the current jail? It is the old jail. It's the old jail, and you can see it kind of peeking up there off the horizon. And this is gonna, this is a, even though it's a small town, look at the congestion of the traffic through here. There is no crosswalk here going into the street festival. Now one would think that there would be a crosswalk here because this is the entrance to the street festival and everyone, not just us, is walking across. So I'm glad I'm at the only one walking across in a fashion that probably is not legal. After 5 p.m., that was about an hour ago, farmer's market. So it's just called, it's just basically a farmer's market. Uh, well, until you get back there. The, the farmer's market is part of it. Farmer's market's part of it. Part of it. Got the artist's name down here. And this gentleman is holding a rooster. And there's some orange, orange, oh, here we go. Artisan Alley right there. That's pretty cool. Almost looks like Bender. It kind of does. Doesn't it kind of looks like uh, Futurama Bender right there. And fun fact, that is not Bender. That is that. You know what? I've never actually noticed that. You didn't realize that? No. Yeah. I thought it was Bender. Oh, look, there's us. It's like a funhouse mirror. Uh, it's an ugly Maz. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's, wait. It's on an A. What is that? What is that? What is that? I think it's an F. Oh, this is interesting. These are locally grown mushrooms. That's pretty interesting. Locally and sustainably grown fresh mushrooms. Got some goat cheese. Oh, turtle cheese. Slow turtle goat cheese. Slow turtle goat cheese. Direct from a beehive of activity. Oh, there's a bee. This is a beehive right here, right? Yeah. Part of it. That's part of the beehive. It's almost like the honeycomb hideout. Yep. Are these candles? Yes, sir. Yeah. Beeswax candles. Oh, they're made of beeswax. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Uh, it's cream honey, but all we do is we just take regular honey and we cool it till it crystallizes. And then once it's crystallized, we whip the honey. So nothing added though, no dairy, no butter. And the reason why we make it this way is it actually makes it a lot thicker. So it's easier to spread on toast, biscuits. Interesting. Strategic. How yeah. much is this? So uh, that size, 12 ounces, is uh, $12. And I don't even want to ask what these are because I know it's not in my business. This is kind of neat how it's just tucked away in this alley, Artisan Alley. And over here, got some wind chimes made out of bottles. Pretty neat. So you got the wind chime part and then the bottle up on top of it. Pretty neat. Very creative stuff out here. Oh, there you go. Ryan just noticed that, that there's Bender under there. I knew we were going to see Bender at some point. Uh, at some point, I'm sure. That wasn't Bender. It was just a joke. For a moment, I thought this was a I thought this was a real pooch, but it's a stuffed it's a stuffed dog. Oh, and there's the inside of the Cafe Da Vinci. Oh, you know what? I think I might have played a punk show here back in the day. Yep. I did. I played. They fixed this place up a lot. Yes, they did. Because over here in the corner, I played a punk fest back in the early 2000s, like 2003 probably. So we're talking about 20 years here. It's been over 20 years ago. The Da Vinci. Yep. Cafe Da Vinci. Yeah, this area has been cleaned up a lot. This was not a great area uh, up until about 10 wow. years ago. They reclaimed it. Yeah, the stage was like over there in the Da Vinci Gardens. Reading this here dates back to 1925, West Volusia, but you were sharing with me a little more info about doorknobs. Yeah, in this building right here, they buy a lot of pieces from Victorian uh, era homes. So if you want, if you buy the Victorian home and you want to get a new uh, doorknob to replace the one you've got, or yeah. hinges, your doors themselves, spindles. I mean, you can see all the spindles right there. Um, you can see all the chandeliers. This is where you come to buy it. Right now they're closed. They are closed. So I'm out of luck. You cannot buy your doorknob. Oh my goodness, look at this. This cute little pup here. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> How you doing? That has got to be the second biggest dog I've seen today. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are wearing the same shirt. You're basically twins. Hey, yeah. How about that? <laughs> and I do have a very, very large dog at home. <laughs> yeah. It's not this large. Oh, that's cool. Nice little yeah. DeLorean there. You got Mando. Do they, do they have this every Friday night? Uh, most of them. Once the weather gets decent. So if the weather's decent. Every Friday night they have this street fair. These are very cool. Thank you so much. I'm handmade. Do you make? Are you hand maker? Uh, uh, we have a workshop in Turkey. I'm from Turkey too. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me show you one look. They all come up like this. So I can swap out the gloves for any colors you like. You can change it, customize it however you like. Beautiful. Yeah. And this is so this is the company name here. Oh yes. Oh, and I like these little bowls here. Like here for sushi, you could put your soy sauce in there, your wasabi, things like this, a little spoon holder. What are these made out of? Uh, they're, made, they're 3D uh, resin printed. Okay. It's made of resin. That's pretty cool. They all articulate and stuff. There's a little gator down there. Yep, gator, got cats, dogs, octopus, bunnies. You know what they look like without touching it? Jelly. Things? Yeah, like Jelly a, bears. you put the quarter in the machine and you'll, they'll slap oh, yeah. you know, all yeah. that. What's coming soon? Well, this box. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had time to work on it. This is your company, Christmas Creations. Yeah, yeah nice. that's my company. I like the little cat. Yeah, these are all lift the paint, so if you send me your favorite picture, I make a 3D print of it. Oh, you can make one. Yeah, when you put light behind it, it looks like the actual image. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Oh, this feels really good. This feels really good. You can see another dog there through the fan. My voice is echoey now. My voice is echoey. You gonna have a Tommy Boy moment? Tragedy Are you gonna have a Tommy Boy moment? I certainly Luke, I am your father. And there is a piano over here. Play me. Right there. Play the piano. Oh, and here are some. Here are some of the farmers market wares. Got some different veggies and whatnot. Oh, even over there, got some carrots. Oh, hello there. In a lot of ways, reminds me of the Celebration Farmer's Market that they have every Sunday. This is on a Friday, the one of Celebration is every Sunday. So the one of Celebration is a little earlier in the day. Not at night, this is on a Friday night. Now this says to drink sensibly, but don't forget to get weird. 
Actually, it tells you the entire story of how to make beer and get drunk. All right. Okay, so this is the last task. That is the last task. So we're starting from the far end. You got the keg, you got the little glass pints, you got the can, the aluminum can. Day seven, day three, day one. Oh, look at this. Is this what were these little characters? What are they supposed to be? Oh, this is the fermentation. These are fermented little little nuggets. This might be the only thing I purchased other than a coffee. It might be. But I wanted to show the wild honey. Unfiltered raw creamed honey made out of Umatilla, Florida, just down the road. And of course, very close to Daytona where Bike Week is still going on. Ryan, where'd you go, man? I'm over here. I'm talking to Jake from State Farm. Oh, it's Jake. Jake from State Farm. How'd you know it was Jake? He's got coffee. He's got coffee. Jake, where'd you get the coffee? Now, one thing about doing things in the evening, the little farmer's market in the alley is open, but a lot of other stuff is closed, like this really cool antique store. Got some baseball cards down there. And lightsabers. Baseball cards, lightsabers. Bullet arrow. A detour. This is the marketplace at Rivertown. Vintage Mall. Now, is Steve's Downtown Music around here? Uh, I think it's up there. Steve's Downtown Music is another place I used to play shows at. In fact, it is right here. Steve's Downtown Music with the Rat Fink out front. Yeah, I played a lot of shows in here back in the early 2000s, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. Steve's Downtown Music is still open. I'm gonna stop inside here in Pat and Tony's Sweet Things. <laughs> Someone just coughed behind me, but as I step in, you'll notice there's a lot of retro type of merchandise, including a carton, that's right, a carton of candy cigarettes. You don't see candy cigarettes anymore. You can not only necessarily get the carton, but you can also get the single cigarettes. Kind of has an old school vibe, old school general store vibe all through the entire place. And they also have coffee on a little, over in the ice cream area as well. So we're gonna get some, some lattes. I have been on a latte kick are you a latte kind of guy? I am a caffeine kind of guy. Cheers. We caffeine got the same. We got the same thing. So if you don't, if we mixed up our drinks, we would know we would be fine. Because we got the same thing. Can I? Can I say it this time? Yes. I have a piping hot, caffeinated drink. And as traffic goes by, I'm noticing up here on the side of this wall, there is a mural that appears to be. The mural is so detailed that it looks as if there is a balcony with an elderly couple up there on the balcony, but in reality, the balcony is just paint on the side of the wall. Circa 1897, early grocery stores. Now, does early mean it, it's back in the old days, or early might be the last name of who owned the store? Very unique looking sky right now, but the sun kind of has been setting over there, but there's like a aura, like a, like a sea blue haze. Reminds me of New Orleans, this one over here on this side with the little balcony in the awning. And this is the big mural. That's not the specific name, but it is the rather large mural here in town with the horse-drawn carriage, horse and buggy right Pioneer over here. Park. What is it called? Pioneer Park. Pioneer Park. The horse and buggy here. Got the whole family going into town, do a little shopping. Back in the good old days. Oh, look at the train, the steam train there too. This is an awesome mural. I don't know what draw, drew me into him, but it looks like something that would be like in a silent film. Like Wasn't a, he in the beginning uh, piece of Cheers? The beginning piece of Cheers? Yeah, when they're, uh, he looks like the guy you know, standing next to the bar holding the drink. But he's the only one I don't know his name. Oh, Everybody knows his name but me. I wonder if this was a town portrait that they immortalized as a mural. Because this looks like probably a photo does. This says watch out for cars up top. Watch out for cars. Does it say watch out for trains? I'd be worried about the big train rolling through the center of town. Now Ryan was one. I'm, just, I'm sorry. He's distracting me with the facial expressions here. But Ryan has an opinion that this might be old man Stetson. Yes. Because he's wearing a Stetson hat and old man Stetson, I don't know his first name, so that's why I'm not calling like him by. John maybe. John Stetson was from this area. Yes. He and he wore Stetson hats and sold Stetson hats and the Stetson name. <laughs> I'm just really focusing not only Mr. Stetson, possibly, but also the guy next to him 
<laughs> Bald Jack Nicholson? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Winged freak terrorizes. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Let me, me. let me zoom in. You gotta do your best Nicholson? Okay, do it. Wait till they get a load of me. Whoop. Whoop. Life. <laughs> that was good. That was a good hiss. Who'd you say this was? That's Jimmy Durante right there. <laughs> Jimmy Durante. Skittle, 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 whatever the song was. Wow. <laughs> there is just a treasure trove. This gentleman up here is singing some carols. Yeah, Laurel and Hardy back there on the back of the. Uh, yeah, it does kind of look wagon. like Laurel and Hardy. John's, John Wilkes Booth at the top of the, uh, in the back seat of the wagon. Oh, it sure is. We can better watch out. That's how we got over to Ford Theater. We took this horse and buggy. Whoa, there are bats going oh, by. Hold us, right above us. How weird is that? Dude, some bats just went by. Winged freak terrorizes. Wait till they get a load of me. Dude, bats, you just did a Batman. Woo! <laughs> Does that hurt your throat? Yes. This is called Pumpernickel Pops Smoke Shop, located here at these apartments that used to be the Opera House, established 1910, the downtown apartment houses that used to be the opera house and you were just commenting how treacherous and steep the stairwell you can get your step you don't need a, you don't need a stair master in a gym here oh it looks as if steve's downtown music has a little competition with groovy records over here so there are two vinyl stores here in town this is where i buy my vinyl actually you buy your vinyl here i do They've so you have a record so you get you have a record player and you come in here and buy your vinyl i do there's johnny cash up top up there there's phil collins got don don, don johnson. johnson did an album yes he did i know the swayze dog patrick swayze did a wind beneath my wings don i don't know why i called him the, Sw the swayze <laughs> dog i heard that uh, kevin smith called him the swayze dog once so i just kind of always stuck is that john just john schneider you know John, pull that, pull that out of there. I John. know a guy that knows John Schneider. I've met John Schneider before. He was in the Dukes of Hazard, obviously. He was. That I did not realize John Schneider had a mustache at some point. Someone needs to let John Schneider know that here in Deland, that you can pick up his record. This was during his uh, Gordon Lightfoot era. And I don't like getting political, but this roofing company <laughs> certainly does. <laughs> you know those moments you go to the fair. And a carnival worker will convince you to pay ten dollars to try to pop a balloon, yeah. and you end up winning a prize. What do you do with those prizes? They end up here in Deland, right here outside the window. You're carrying this all around for your significant other around the fair. This is where they go to rest well. The land windows. And just like Elm Street, almost every town has a church street. Church in Elm, you can always count on that. And a fire department, water tower, and usually a post office. That's the one off of John F. Kennedy, right? Oh, they have a bus system in here town too. This goes to, to the Tiberi station. Very retro looking bus. Okay, here's Bender. Bender right there. And we got Jack and Sally up here. And we got the Enterprise as well. I'm just making a joke. That's not Bender. You know, I've been meaning to read Paul. Oh, there's Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit 451 and Dune. Oh, here's a lightsaber. Oh, I didn't know this. This is a whole pop culture. Oh, here's a transformer. Oh, and look, there's a bat. There's a bat. What would Nicholson say right now? I'm of a mind to make a movie. Now, this is a pretty cool angle. As this car turns, it's going to be driving towards the theater down at the end where we started the video. That's pretty neat with the neon all down there at the end. There goes another Jeep turning down going towards the theater. Now right here on this very corner is what was known as Deland's very first skyscraper back in the 1920s. And if you read this, dated 1925, this information placard, it states that when the stock market crashed back in 29 during the depression, a daredevil known only as the human fly would occasionally scale the walls seeking contributions from onlookers. That means someone would climb up this wall for tips. Like a busker, like taking money from strangers. And I, you know, if someone was here, if the human fly was here, I'd pull my wallet out and give him a couple bucks. Whatever happened to the human fly? 
Where is the human fly today? Probably passed Good. on. Right here on the corner of New York and Woodland. Oh, and there's a big oversized truck going through here. Normally you don't you don't see trucks going through a small downtown like this. Maybe that's the human fly. And from what I can tell, nothing is inhabiting the top up here. It almost looks like there were apartments at one time, but there's no lights on. Perhaps the human fly resides up there. I want to know more about this human fly. I didn't even know about it until you said, read that placard over there. You'll find this interesting. So I did, and now I've not gone down a rabbit hole, but I'm about to go down a fly hole. Is there such a thing as a fly hole? Okay, I stand corrected. The lights are on in the very top. You know who can get up there? The human fly. The human fly. Maybe the human flies up there. Let me throw a rock at the window. Maybe that's why those bats are congregating towards the top of these roof lines. Yeah. Flies, bats. No correlation, but they do both have wings. Have you in the video? Oh, that's pretty neat. There's a mural down here with some manatees on it with the waterfall. That is cool. Tile mosaic. It's, it's called a, it's called mosaic. Little mosaic. There seems to be a snapping turtle over there as well. So this is where the tile goes down. A mosaic, you called it. A mosaic. I'm gonna kind of go down the stairs a little bit. Show the manatee mosaic here. That is awesome. Look at that. All out of tiles. There's a floating vessel down there. What is that? I think it was chlorine in that. For chlorine? Look at that snapping turtle is about to get itself a fish. Yes. That fish right there is about to have seen better days. It has. It's about to see the inside of that snapping turtle's belly. And that manatee is chowing down on a little, little foliage from the bottom of the lake right there in his hands. This thing goes on till pretty late. You know, darkness has reared its head now. The road's still closed and will be for a while. But a lot of vendors are still out here, even to the hours of the eve. Arrive now over here with our shadows in front of the city hall. Well, my shadow's here. Your shadow's there. The city hall building. A little bit of a breeze there. Wash day tomorrow, huh? Nothing clean, right? Nothing clean, right? My Arnold's off tonight. I, I could usually do better than this too. Uh. And just to throw a little movie 80s history your way. Mm -hmm. You know, there was, there was three punks there at the Griffith Observatory during Terminator. Mm -hmm. One of them was Bill Paxton. One guy I can't remember, but then the other one was a villain in a Stallone film from the 80s. Do you know who that was? Do you remember what Stallone film that was? I do not. Cobra. Cobra? Did you ever see Cobra? Uh, 1984? Did you ever see it? Uh, Maybe way back when? The villain in Cobra was one of the punk rock guys in Terminator. Nothing clean, right? Yeah, Cobra. Crime was a disease. Stallone was the cure. Uh, the that was the tagline. That part I remember. Teen Wolf. Oh, Styles. Styles. Styles? Is that Styles? Where's the wolf mobile? Remember at the beginning when I said didn't really have a game plan for this evening? This is what happens when I get busy doing other stuff during the day and I think, you know, I haven't filmed a video yet. This is what this is what happens. And usually I'm in those ones. Now to come to think of it. Yeah, I see. Yeah. We're now passing by the blind pig again. And we have returned to the funhouse looking mirror here at the front of Artisan Alley. I had a look up here, Artisan Alley. Right up there. You know, I go back and forth on videos like this you, thinking. Should I, should I just document like an actual vlog? This is this would be clarified as what you could call a vlog. This is this is a true vlog, yep. a video about really nothing in particular. I, I enjoy these. You like these more these. than a subject matter? Uh, let's call it eighty percent of the time I do. So eighty percent. So four out of five times. Four to five you would times. rather watch a video of just someone going out and living their life, doing doing the things they do on a normal day. It's real. What you see happening actually is happening. So this right here is real. This is this, real. Rem this reminds me of like Beastie Boys. It kind of right does. Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't stand it. I know you planned it. 
Okay. Sabotage. Yes. Listen, all y'all. Bender. They'd always get really low, though. They, I can't get too low because then I'll just be filming the brick. I just can't get back so up. So like you have anymore. spoken. You, you fall. You go down. Uh, yeah, my can't my get back up. Knees and ankles aren't bringing me back. But I think a lot of people share your opinion. I'm kind of doing this because I might get a good for posterity here of what this would look like. Can you tell it to me here? So I'm not going to delete this footage. I'm going to upload it. I think you should. Because I think some you're going to get. You're going to do this for posterity. So call this one a fun day, late evening day. I didn't film. I was doing personal stuff. Ryan got a hold of me and says, I have an idea. I'll take you over to the land. Three years in the making right here. You have been asking religiously for me to come out here. Mm -hmm. And now I did. Tell me, it wasn't more interesting. Whether you I liked it. it. Or not. It's, it's more interesting than you would think, right? I like. Yeah, it's a cool town. It is very... I'm trying to think of the word. Eccentric. It's busy. This says Beacon Night Drop with the arrow here pointing down to the thank you over here with the Beacon Night Drop, the Beacon newspaper. Now adjacent to this truck, which has a lot of hay in the back of it, noticing the sticker here on the side, that's very, very clever. But this mural right up top, so this is very reminiscent of the Cracker Jack guy. Cracker Jack. Is it the Cracker Jack guy? It is. If you actually, if you kick that door open, there's a prize inside. That's not, I don't think that's true. Okay, it's close. It's close, it's not. It is a sailor. But you know what? Cracker Jack guy has his little pup and dog with him too. But probably same sort of inspiration. We've got the dog down there and a sailor here along the side of the wall. That's what it reminds me of. Obviously, probably not the same gentleman. But a lot of good artwork here in the land. This is the Museum of Art. It is. Also closed because we're here a little later in the evening, but there's a lot of people out even at this late hour. You just informed me that sometimes, could be that truck, mm -hmm. will walk goats around the land. Pick me goats, yeah, I on, on leashes and harnesses. Do you think the goats are around? I think there's a possibility that, I mean... At this late hour? Where you at, goats? Hey, this is a bird, it's not a goat. Found a photo online of one of the goats. You see the goat has his harness yeah. and his leash. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Be on the lookout for the goats. I, don't, I think it might be too late. Now, I've seen these in LA and stuff, and even Universal Studios Hollywood has a large wingspan. You can get a photo in front. This is a little smaller than the appropriate one. You can see, you see Ryan here in comparison. The one at Universal Hollywood is the size of a wall. So this is almost like a waist level. It's like a torso. You're a torso angel. Make. What's that over there? Goats? No. Oh! Wings. Okay. That's pretty cool. Also want to show this over here. In this little garden section up top are some bat houses. Take a look at them up there. Those are houses for bats. The bats live in there before they fly around. Yeah, we've seen some bats. We've seen flies that are in the human form climbing up the side of buildings. We've seen the goats that are nowhere to be found. All of these items might end up in the title of this video because really this video had no game plan whatsoever. And you know, when you think of bats, sometimes there are humans that take on bat form and there's a villain that takes over that tries to dismantle what the bat is trying to do. And who would that villain be, Ryan? That would be Jack Nicholson Jack. as the number one, the only Joker, 1989. Oh, you think Tim Burton Joker is the, is the, is the best one of all of them? I'm going to say yes. I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but I'm going to say yes. And what would Nicholson say right now if he was looking at these bat houses? Uh, probably not a whole he lot. He would say, winged freak terrorizes. Wait till they get a load of me. This town needs an enemy. Oh, this reminds me of Venice Beach, California, where you have the little chess tables all set up. Except at the moment over here, they're doing massages. No chess is being played. This is like a beautiful little courthouse square that runs adjacent to 
the courthouse. And down this road, corner of Woodland there, that was where we got coffee earlier, the old Crest building. But this is, this is a relic from the past too, a Wells Fargo building here, which is now the, the half wall restaurant. And there is a free play for $6. There's a kind of a retro arcade, which I'll come back here, here one day. Six dollars is open till two a.m. I'm not gonna stay out till two. But we started down there. Mm -hmm. That's the, the theater we started the intro from. Yeah, so we should we should end end it down there. Let's do that. And I was thinking this reminds me of Back to the Future, and this kind of has a watch out for watch out for Biff. Except Marty was on the skateboard, and Biff and the rest of his there was a bunch of them. So it's kind of the opposite. There's just a bunch of skateboarders. I bet you they hate manure. They probably do. And that's gonna do it for today from Deland, Florida with Splorin' Ryan. Doing a little Splorin'. Doing a little vlog. For the first one in a is... while. Is, what's that? No, I was saying I'll do the vlog over. You wanna do the vlog over? Would you mind? I'll see you in the next video with Splorin' Ryan. Well, you, you might not be in the next video. This video with Splorin' Ryan, but I'll see you, because you might not be with me tomorrow. You might be. I'll see you in the next video this video was with Splore and Ryan. The vlog is over. Nailed it. Good job. It's gonna be here. And this car is Ryan's. You give me a ride home now, buddy? Oh yeah. But you have to see this first. Your license plate? Not my license plate. It is not your car? It is better than my car. We didn't drive over in this car? Okay, I was mistaken because even though this kind of looks like your car, it's not, but you do have this sticker on your car. That's why I was confused. Keep looking for that, guys. It's the Splorn Mobile. Just a little Splorn. Is that the fish saying that?